Hey guys, Steve here at Hanks Hot Rods, and what we have for you today is this beautiful 1968 Chevrolet Camaro convertible, and we're going to do our walk around on it as we normally do with all of our vehicles, starting at the front. Uh, first thing you notice is the paint is in a butternut yellow, and the paint on this vehicle is very nice, very smooth, very glossy and shiny. Um, second thing you'll see, it does have the front nose stripe, and we'll get a better view of that as we come around but it does have the black nose stripe on the front, a nice contrast. It also goes with the black top, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, you have the 350 emblems on the front fender, and that is indeed what is in this vehicle, and we'll go over that once we raise the hood. Coming back, uh, first feature you see, it does have the uh, stainless wheel well moldings at all four corners. Um, we also have the American Racing Torque Press 2 aluminum wheels, 17s on the front, 18 inch on the back. And it is the polished aluminum there, really gives it that uh, modern, sporty look. Coming back to the first gap driver's side, driver's side fender and door. Very even going down. Body line down here nides up nicely, and so does the body line here. And you also see we've got the chrome rocker moldings, and that is on both sides. Our bright work around the front window, very nice condition. A couple of scratches here and there, but overall, great shape. Driver's side of the windshield and a driver's side side glass, very nice. No chips or cracks, and also this is slightly tinted. Um, second thing, uh, before we move on to our second gap here, uh, we do have the black convertible top, and the top on this car is very nice. It's in great condition. Uh, coming up here, no rips or tears, very nice shape. Uh, moving along to our second gap driver's side, door to quarter pan. Very nice and even going down. Of course, our body line is very close there and very nice there as well. Uh, what we're going to do now is open up the driver's side of the interior. So you can see the driver's side of the interior. Vinyl buckets in the front, bench in the rear, very nice condition. Uh, Carpeting is very nice. Uh, center console, automatic horseshoe shifter for the 700R4 transmission. Dash pad is very nice. You can see the dash is in great shape. Carpet door jam seals, the door panels, all really nice condition. Move it along. Come along to the back here. Our back um, plastic here for the uh, convertible top is in great shape. A couple little scratches here and there, but overall really nice and so is the bright work going around the back. Our trunk gap. Sides are very even and also going across the back gapping as well. And you do have the trunk mounted rear wing on this vehicle as well. Coming around to the back, our lenses and bezels for the tail lights are in great shape. Really nice. Um, our rear bumper chrome, really nice condition. Uh, really shiny. I don't really see much scratches at all. Very nice condition. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the trunk and we're going to go over everything in here. As you can see, uh, trunk underneath is body color. The jam is very nice, and our weather stripping is in nice condition, intact, and in great shape. Inside the trunk now, we do have the convertible boot, which is in black. I'll get that out of the way so you can see the floor really nicely. Floor is in great shape. You got your indentations here. Uh, you got your set up here. You got your drains back here. Everything is in great shape and painted with a nice rough texture coating. Moving along. Coming around to the side here. Again, we'll address the paint. Paint is very nice, very shiny and glossy, and I just the whole way around. Coming along to the top again uh, for this side, passenger side of the convertible top and the top here, very nice condition. No rips or tears that I see, great shape. Passenger side glass, no chips and cracks, also slightly tinted. Um, first gap passenger side, quarter to door. Very even going down. And our body line here, here line up real nice. And here as well. What we're going to do is open up the passenger side so you can see the interior from this point of view. You can see you got the gauges in front of the uh, shifter there. Um, white face gauges. You got the carpeting, great view of the carpeting and the dash from this side. Really nice condition. And the jams on this side also in great shape. 
Moving along to our second gap, driver's side. I mean passenger side, I'm sorry. Fender to door. Very nice going down and even. Uh, body line lines up nicely there, there, and there as well. And also, there's our chrome rocker going for this side as well. Passenger side of the windshield, great shape, no chips and cracks. Hood gapping is very nice on both sides, and this is a two inch steel cow induction hood. Coming along to the front here, front bumper is in great shape, just like the back, really nice condition. Our front grille is in great shape, our marker lenses here, and our headlights, our bezels, all in great shape on the front here. Um, what I'm going to do now is pop the hood, and we're going to go over the, everything in the engine bay here. Um, you do have your uh, material here under the hood, all fixed, mounted nicely, not hanging down. Um, we do have the functional cow induction, so there is holes back there. Um, under the hood here, we do have a 350 Chevrolet engine. Um, we got the aluminum Edelbrock uh, intake there, the four barrel Holly uh, carburetor. Um, we do have the aluminum fin valve covers. This vehicle does indeed have air conditioning. We got power steering, we got power brakes. Um, a very nice package, 350 Chevrolet, more than enough to move this car. And with the air conditioning and convertible, it's just a great package. What we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to put this up on the lift. And we'll go over the undercarriage for you. Hey, guys, we got our 68 convertible up in the air. We're going to go through our undercarriage as we normally do, starting at the front. Um, control arms, suspension looks to be of a stock style. Um, we do have disc brakes on the front and drum brakes in the rear. Um, we do have a front sway bar on this vehicle. Our greasables. Do look to have been greased and taken care of. Um, we got the 17 inch uh, wheels on the front, 18 inch wheels on the back. Our front cross member, nice and sturdy there. I don't see holes rusting that whatsoever. Our oil pan on our 350. Our rear main seal. Our transmission pan. And our output seal. All nice and dry, I don't see any leaks there at all. Uh, we do have dual exhaust on this vehicle coming off stock style manifolds. Um, going in the back into a dual inlet, dual outlet muffler, and we'll address that as we get further back. Um, our front frame sections look good. Look good. Uh, one thing I will point out: we do have frame connectors here. Um, it gives you a better uh, stability, better uh, traction there when you're putting power down. Uh, so we do have the traction bars on here. Our floors. Well, first thing I'll address: our transmission cross member. That looks good there. Our floors look really nice underneath here. Very, very nice floors. And of course, we've got our embossments. Both sides, drains, here, here. Floor looks really good there. It is really nice underneath here. Um, our center plate here also. All the fasteners there, it looks really nice, nice and stru uh, sturdy, no holes, rust, or anything on our center plate there. Coming back, we do have our e-brake cables here. Floors here. Again, look really nice. Um, our input seal here at our drive shaft, and our rear differential cover on our 10 bolt rear uh, differential. Seals both look good there. No leaks, anything there either. Um, our exhaust, as I mentioned, we got the dual exhaust comes up over the axle into a dual inlet muffler, out both sides of the same muffler. So the dual inlet, dual outlet muffler. And it comes out and down on either side of the leaf spring. Um, we do have a mono leaf set up on the back of the vehicle here with rear air shocks. So you can adjust the height up and down. Our rear spring mounts. Front. 
and rear do look good. Um, like I said, we got drum brakes on the back. Um, tank. Our fuel tank straps look really good. And the tank itself is nice and it is painted black. Nice, I don't see any rust on the tank. Uh, um, flooring up above the differential all looks really good. All in all, it's very nice under here. What we're going to do now is drop it down, fire it up, secure the engine.